I have already explained in my SQL 50 series how to calculate with running total without using window functions using just joins. Guys, welcome back to the channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems in topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Gameplay Analysis Part 3 and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. Oh, this is the 33rd video of the series called Gameplay Analysis Part 3. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked. And so, GSN Games, let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called activity with three, four different columns player id device id event date and games played the combined column player id and event date is the primary key that is column with unique values of this table this table shows the activity of players of some games each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games possibly zero before logging out on some day using some device we are asked to write a solution to report for each player and date how many games played so far by the player that is the total number of games played Played by the player until that date check the example for clarity order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example and see how the output should look like given this records so you have two different players player id 1 and 3 various devices and various dates and we need to calculate for every player id and every date what is the total number of games played so far so for player id 1 and 1st of march 2016 the total games played are 5 now for player id 1 and 2nd of may 2016 the total games are 5 plus 6 11 and then for player id 1 and 25th of june 2017 5 plus 6 plus 1 that is 12 similarly for player id 3 and that is what we have in our output so basically this is an example of calculating running totals now we have learned that running totals moving averages etc can be calculated using both joints as well as using window functions i have already explained in my sql 50 series how to calculate with running total without using window functions using just joints if you want to solve this question without using any window function if you want to learn the trick you can you know watch this the link will be in the description box below along with the sql playlist but yeah let's try to solve this question it's exactly the same question but we need to find out how can we solve this using a window function okay so what we need to do is from this table called activity we need to in our output return the player id and event date so we can say okay return me player id and event date and then we need to calculate this column games played so far using a window function okay so for every player we need to create a partition because for player id 1 these three rows should be you know used to calculate at a particular date what is the total games played so far okay so and how which column we are going to actually use to calculate the total games played the games played column so sum the games played column and then since we are writing a window function we always need to write the over clause and then we need to create partitions by the player id and then you also need to order by the event date why because so that you know for for example if you consider these three rows so it is ordered in event date first of march comes first then second of may then 25th of june so that as you go down this partition you can keep on adding the games played to get you the total number of games played so far on that particular date so once you have this this is going to calculate the games total games played and we can alias this as whatever is required as our output so as games played so far okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yeah somewhat tricky question where you can also use the joins to solve this question but right now i am using a window function what we simply did was we just you know did that okay for every player id we created the partition because for every player id we need to get for a particular date what is the games played so far we use the window function sum the game played over partitioned by the player id arranged in event date in ascending order and got the output so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video